Welcome to Solos for the Horn Player, edited by Mason Jones. For number five, the Scherzo by Beethoven, taken from his septet, we're going to discuss what makes Beethoven Beethoven. Number one, the era. It was very formal in the late classical era. There was also very rhythmic music being written. Number two, the style. So that means you play things kind of in dances or in marches. This one's a dance. This one has a lot of contrast in it. It's kind of joking and it's kind of rustic. The middle of the trio is also very elegant and beautiful. Number three, what does that mean for the traditions? Well, Beethoven writes with eight bar phrases and a lot of arpeggios, especially for horn writing. Number four, for performance practice, that means that your pitch and rhythm have to be spot on. If you think of rhythm like a moving train that you set up before you start, ready and ba boop and then you stay really in tune with your arpeggios those are two really good performance practices now for number five making it your own i'd say try to go for some real interesting character of sound and character of articulation beethoven was both brave and very very smart so if we use those two adjectives and try to put that into our beethoven playing i think that makes for a really good style 